you think? You like this trade? Well, my thing is, Skip, well, I don't know why the Cards would trade for a small receiver. Hell, you got a small quarterback. You should want big receivers. I understand that you got D-Hop and you mm -hmm. brought uh, A.J. Green back for another year. Yep. But, Skip, you got Rondell Moore. He's 5'7". Yep. Hollywood Brown, 5'9". Mm -hmm. And you got a 5'9 quarterback throwing to small guys. Mm -hmm. Hell, get him some 6'4 receivers. <laughs> Look, the Ravens were not going to play Hollywood Brown the type of money that he wanted. Hollywood Brown has seen all these guys. He saw A.J. Brown get traded, get $100 million. He, he saw Devontae Adams. He see all these guys. The Ravens are not paying you that because you know why? Because you're going to be doing all that blocking. And he's like, I'm tired of blocking. And his quarterback situation. Don't let anybody fool you. He loves, he loves Lamar Jackson. But you're not catching no 85, 90, 100 balls mm -hmm. and getting 14, 1,500 uh, yards the kind of, to get the kind of money that Hollywood Brown wants. See, every, every receiver now, Skip, I need 25 million. I need 25 to 30 million. And the team's not paying you that. Mm -hmm. Not in that situation. And I, I'm not upset at the Hollywood. I get it. I want to win, Skip. But damn, I, I can't be doing blocking 40 times a game and just getting six targets. But I, don't, I, I, I get it for the Ravens. I, I get it. I totally get it for the Ravens. We're not paying you that kind of money. For what? Skip, why would the Ravens ever pay a wide receiver when your system is so run and so run heavy? Why would I pay a receiver $25 million? Great question. They're not. Mm. I mean, Rashad Bateman seems like he's going to be really good. Duvernay, Prochet, the second, and Tylen Wallace. Who knows? I mean, the second, third round, they might go. They'll, they'll go get one. They, they might you, go get, you know go get they a receiver. Will. Yes. Yep. But Skip, look, I, I, I get the trade. I don't get the trade for the cards. I mean, you got D. Hop, you got A.J. Green. He's not the same A.J. Green the first five or six years when he was in Cincinnati. Age has kind of caught up with him. The injury bug had, uh, had been him for a while. But I don't I don't love the move for the cards. Mm. I don't love it. I, I don't, we got, you know, hell, if you want to trade, hell, I'd have trade to try to get A.J. Brown. Hell, if he was available, mm -hmm. put A.J. Brown and DeAndre Hopkins mm -hmm. together. Now you got something. You got another big body guy that can go high point the ball. You got a guy that's tremendous run after the catch. Skip, I just think when you throw the small, now unless you Tyreek, now you tell, give me Tyreek. Mm -hmm. Hollywood Brown ain't Tyreek. Skip, but if, 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 if you're a small guy, small quarterback, Skip, I want somebody going to jump up. I, I can't be accurate. Skip, I can't hook the bulls out every time I throw the ball. Yep. Okay, to your point, allow me first to speak as a Dallas Cowboy fan. When I glanced down and saw the Eagles had acquired A.J. Brown, <laughs> it struck fear in my heart yeah. because he's a difference maker. Yes. <sighs> Hollywood's not a difference maker. It's not. And when I saw that Arizona had traded the 23rd overall pick for Marquise Brown, Hollywood, wait, the same one? Wait, do, do I have the right guy here? <laughs> like, you mean the guy who played with Kyler at OU that I watched every second of, every right. snap of? Yeah, that guy. If I'm going to get a first-round pick, I'm going to trade him and get one of these guys coming out. I'm going to get Olave. I'm going to go get Jamison Williams. I'm going to get one of these guys that's available. My God. They got six of the top 18 picks. Right. And yet, Tennessee then went ahead and took that Traylon Burks from Arkansas. And every time I watched him, he is Debo S. He's, he's AJ, he's AJ he, Brown. He is big and he is physical. Yes. And trust me, he is flat out fearless. He can dominate with his physicality and just his psyche of, of just I, yeah. I, I I am I'm me and you're not. Right. That's that's how he plays football. Yes. So I'm good with that. They're they're going to start fresh. Will he quite be AJ Brown right out of the blocks? I doubt it. I but but you, you know and I know that all of a sudden Philly can pair up Devontae Smith and, and A.J., and you, right. you're like, okay, now yeah. you got some firepower. Yeah. We're going to talk about the NFC East in a few minutes here. What's it now? What's the breakdown? Because I'm starting to think, uh-oh, here comes Philadelphia. And that tight end, Dallas Goddard, who's re he's really good. So now you got – okay. I know you've got issues with the quarterback. Yeah. I don't. But, but, again, the balance of power is starting to even up a little bit between – I don't think Dallas can just back into the East next year. Well, I think the thing is, Skip, they've done, every, they've done what they could to try to make sure Jalen Hurts succeed. They yep. go get him, A.J. Brown, give him the money. Devontae, they took him with the number 10 pick. Yep. You got Goddard, Miles Sanders, if he can stay healthy. So you, you, you've surrounded Jalen Hurts. But, Skip, when he was at Alabama – he had five guys get drafted at number one at wide receiver. He, he had O.J. Howard. Mm -hmm. Look at those running backs that he had. How did he throw the ball? At some point in time, we got to say a guy is what he is. Mm. He's a mobile, athletic quarterback 
that act that lacks accuracy and efficiency. That's pure and simple. I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but I'm just saying, look at what he had in that. Look what he was throwing to. I got it. Judy, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, Henry Ruggs, O.J. Well, Howard. Well, some games he threw the heck out of it. Not very often. All I know about Jalen Hurt is that he's a gamer, he's a baller, <laughs> he's a winner. That's all I know. That's all. And he's a leader. I should have put leader on there. That's who he is. High intangibles, high ability to make plays. Yes. So I have seen him. And by the way, they did make the playoffs last year and ran into GOAT at GOAT. Nah. So here they come because you gave him another weapon. That'll make him a little better. Now back to Arizona. To me, this was a makeup gift to Kyler because right. they're at odds and he's wiped their his social clean of Arizona yeah. and they finally said, okay, we give you your fifth year, you know, we we, we go ahead and give you the fifth year. He don't want no fifth year option. Yeah, I know he wants his money. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You so want Deshaun Watson money too while you at it. Yeah. And unfortunately, Deshaun just blew the complete top off the market <laughs> with 230 guaranteed. And then Tyreek came right after him and blew the top off the receiver yes. market with however much he got. He got was, 70, well, 72 guaranteed. Yeah, just ridiculous for a little receiver. But that one yeah. is <laughs> dynamic. Yeah. So I, I know Hollywood Brown because, as you know, I'm a huge OU fan, okay. and I know Kyler to Hollywood, and it was a soul connection, man. It was that right. they were connected. Right. And yet, to me, Hollywood is not a possession receiver remotely. He's icing on your cake. Right, he's deeper. Yeah, he's a luxury addition, and he does complement your two bigger, older receivers, right. obviously. But, and yeah, they just think that Kyler loves him, so it's going to be okay. Right. And I will give him this. He stays healthy because he only missed three games in, in uh, the three years. And last year, I know you're talking about 1,500 yards, but, but he did catch 91 balls, which was his career high last year. It was just for a 1,000, barely over 1,000 yeah, yards. So, so, Skip, you said he had deep threat. How do yeah. you a deep threat average 10 yards a catch? Okay, because all he can do <laughs> is run past people. And every once in a while, he will. Yes. If you can find him and get him the football. Yeah, but can you hit? But I mean, when he was running by people, the quarterback that he had wasn't as accurate as he needed to be. Skip, the man That's wanted to correct. leave. I mean, most, most people got a home, but I'm good. Yeah. Skip, you know what? I was just reading this that. Uh, I was just reading this this article, and it said a lot of. Uh, I forget the percentage said they would rather have a, a a friend at work as opposed to making more money. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's my homeboy. We homeboy. We worked out. We from play, same area mm -hmm. of Florida. They've been working out together in the off season. Yeah, but I'm gonna. Okay. And I feel in order to reach maximize my potential, mm -hmm. I need someone that can consistently get me the football skill. Yep. That's what Hollywood said. That's what he said. And yet Kyler tweeted last night, Hollywood to the desert. You know, let's run it back. OU all over again. And I got you it. You know what happened last time they ran it back? Alabama put something on them, didn't they? Boy, Kyler put it on. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Kyler ain't putting nothing on. No, but Skip the score was 28 to nothing before you eat, before you could even sit down and get popcorn. It was 28 to nothing. That was the worst playoff defense in the history <laughs> of the NCAA playoffs. The worst. I don't know how they even got into the playoffs, but they got into the playoffs against Bama. That re uh, conference, the Big 12. Yeah. Y'all so that, that, they about to disband it because y'all, you know, last Oklahoma and Texas want to join the SEC. Yeah. And you see they dominated again in the draft. All Kyler did against Bama that night was throw for 300 plus and run for 100. The plus. game was over. Ooh. Skip, the game was over. The score was 28 to nothing. Ooh. You want us? Did you want us to beat them like 70 to 70 to 20? And I remind you. Hollywood was a shell of himself because he had a leg injury that night. Remember, he couldn't even run. Well, okay. So they're going to run that game back. Are they going to run that yeah. game back? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here they go. My problem is, if if you told me that they had gotten Marquise Brown for a fifth round pick, I'd yeah. said okay. Right. Like that wouldn't have surprised me. That that'd be about right. But you gave number twenty three up to it, and then you saw what happened. The Ravens had number 23, and then they traded that to Buffalo so Buffalo could take the Florida corner because they were desperate for a corner right. because the Baltimore Ravens, who know how to run drafts, they sat right there and they said, well, uh, we've got Tyler. we got the other Tyler. we got Tyler Lindebaum, right? And he'll be sitting right there behind Dallas at 25. So we'll just go right back behind Dallas because all the reconnaissance was through Mel Kuyper's mock Right. Dallas is sitting on Tyler Smith right. 
out of Charleston. And if, guess what? I bet you they would have probably taken that kid from Florida State had uh, Linda Baum going to Dallas. Yeah. I bet you the Ravens would have taken him. You, you would think they they struggled with that as because it was. Because remember, they thought they had to deal with Zadarius Smith. So they thought they was getting a, uh, you know, because mm -hmm. they want they, they want did. to be able to generate rush without not having to bring bomb blitzes all the time mm -hmm. and getting given up 500 yards passing to Joe Burrow. Yep. So I believe they would have taken him. But Skip, you got a 5'9 quarterback throwing to a 5'7 and a 5'9 receiver. Yep, there you go. And uh, what's his name? Steve Kahn, the GM, said uh, after the trade was made that Hollywood Brown is bombs over Baghdad. He can fly, and he is a legitimate playmaker. Well, every once in a while, he is. Yeah. But he's just luxury. But he's a one-trick pony. Everybody yep. knows that it's, he's trying to get over the buck. Correct. That is correct. And you gave the 23rd overall, and now you're going to have to pay, pay the it. man. Right. And that's the thing, Skip. Not only do I, if, if I get a guy in free agency, Skip, I have to give up no compensation. I'm just having to pay the salary. But I've gave, given up draft compensation. Yep. I think they gave up a third rounder also. I think it was the first and the third. Uh, was it? I, I just I they, fixated uh, I mean, on 23rd overall. Really? Nah. Really? Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that. Well, guess whose pressure rises, Kyler, Kyler Murray. All of a sudden, you're sitting back saying, well, they got you D-hop, and then you, you love Marquise. They went and got Marquise for you. What else do you want? But, Skip, you lost the pass rusher. Mm -hmm. you, you, are you not going to try to replace Chandler Jones? Mm. I mean, J, look, J.J. JJ can't stay healthy anymore, mm, Skip. No. He played like two or three games, and this is bicep, his knee, his hamstring or something. And he's not the same J.J. Watt in when he does stay healthy. All I know is that Kyler Murray made back-to-back -back Pro Bowls the last two years. You know he shouldn't win. You know, last year he shouldn't have gone, Skip. Now, you know that. I know that because the <laughs> votes have to be in way too early, and we didn't see the last couple of games. And the problem was that, once again, Arizona <laughs> fell right on its face down the stretch they as they had the year before. I cannot defend it. I cannot protect it. You got to show me more. They make the playoff this year? Boy, that's a tough. That's a tough division. Ooh. That's a tough division. Yeah, right now, my gut is no. I agree with you. Yep. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.